The creeks of the Niger River Delta are its lifeline. They provide food, work, and even a place to wash. But they're full of oil. Before, you could not be able to see the other side because of the mangrove vegetation. It covered the whole of this area by the pollutions of uh, 2008 and 2009, destroyed the whole place. This is Bodo, a small community in an area of southern Nigeria called Ogoniland. Almost everyone here lived off that land, fishing or farming. In 2008, two oil spills from shell pipelines devastated the environment and people's livelihoods. Father could not be able to put food on the table. Mother could not be able to put food on the table. Their children could not go to school. Uh, they wouldn't have fish to eat. And so the community become more less than a refugee community. Spills are common in the Delta. Around 240,000 barrels of oil leak out into the creeks every year. Technically, Shell stopped producing oil and gas in Ogoniland in the 90s, but its pipelines still pump it through the region. This former refinery is only a few miles from Bodo. It was shut down in 1993 after violent protests against the oil industry. The jungle has started to reclaim the land, but even after 20 years, oil still leaks out into the ground. It's going to take about 30 years for the creek to be restored. Yeah? So within that period, Shell have made billions of pounds from here. They came here in 1958. And this is where they have lived for more than 40-something uh, good years. In 2012, the Bodo community took Shell to court in London. And after a three-year legal battle, they won. And they came out that Shell should pay Bodo people 55 million pounds. Oh, there were jubilations all over. I myself jumped more than any other person. <laughs> I jumped more than any other person because the first place I have had in Africa that Shell admit their liability. It was a landmark victory and a chance to revitalize the community. The money was supposed to be divided into two pots, one for individual claims and one for community development. Instead, the 15,000 residents decided to share all the money equally. Each got around 900,000 Naira, which is about $4,500. It doesn't sound like a lot, but here, 50% of the population live on only a dollar a day. And what did they do with the money? Well, most of them built houses. It was a mud house here before. After receiving the compensation, they were able to put up this structure and because the money was not enough, they could not be able to roof it again. The lucky ones managed to finish their new houses, but many only have a shell of a home and are still living in mud huts. Still, the residents of Bodo say they had a good reason to share the money. 99% of this community are in favor of sharing those money because if we want to use it for contract, our leaders are so corrupt and we don't trust them. They will, they will manipulate that money, and they will not do a good, clean job. And it's not just Bodo that's been affected. As you can see now, here is the waterfront, Goi Community Waterfront. They are all impacted sites. If you observe the area, you see the cake spills. The neighboring community of Goi is also suing Shell over the same oil spills. This pond had been here in 1979, feeding my family and, and uh, extended families. My father accommodated over 100 workers, both from sand giving, uh, deep sea fishing, bakery, school, poultry, and, and, and transport. Eric says he's learned from Bodo's experience. Any payments from Shell will be used differently in Goi. So if money comes back, I have to reinvest in those areas to see that they are functional and they create a job opportunity for people. The truth is that no amount of reinvestment will really change things here until the environment is restored. As part of the settlement, Shell is meant to begin cleaning the creeks by October 2016. But there are fears that even if Shell eventually stumps up the cash, it will never make it to Bodo. 
if that money for the cleanup is given to one agency, you will hear the money is in America tomorrow. Bodo may have won millions, but money alone isn't going to solve the problems here.